Maple class. I've got another new sound for you today. And the sound that we're learning today is this one. I wonder if any of you have seen this one before. It's called the letter Z and it's right at the end of our alphabet, X, Y, Z. Do you notice that it's got a pointy bit here and a pointy bit down the bottom? So when we write a letter Z, we have straight lines. We go across, then we have to stop with our pencil and we go straight across and we stop and we go straight across the bottom. So we have to make sure that we have our points at the top and our points at the bottom. This is the lowercase z. And if we look at the capital Z, it looks exactly the same. Can you see that both the capital and the lowercase z look the same? The capital is just taller. It's a bigger letter. It stands nice and tall. Let's have a go at writing our letter Z together. So remember, we start here, we go straight across, we keep our pencil there, and then we go down and across, and we keep our pencil steady, and then we go across the bottom so that we've got these nice points at the top and the bottom. Let's try with our magic finger. Are you ready? We're going to go straight across and we stop. Then we go down and across and we stop. And then we go straight across the bottom. Well done. Let's have another go. We're going to go across the top and stop. Down and across. Stop and straight across the bottom. Well done. Now we're going to think about what the letter Z sounds like when we're reading or when we're trying to hear it in words to write. So the sound that the letter Z makes is a Z sound. Z. Can you say that? Z. It might tickle your tongue as you say it. Z. And to help us remember this sound, I want you to think about a buzzing bee buzzing around the flowers trying to collect the pollen and the nectar and their wings go out and as they're fluttering above the buzzing above the flower their wings will make a zzz sound zzz. can you be a buzzing bee zzz. Zzz. well done so I have some objects again for us to have a look at and see if we can work out which ones begin with that zzz sound and which ones don't. So let's have a little look first of all. We have a zip and a pen. We have a zebra and a cat and a zero. So have a little think about which ones begin with that zzz sound and which ones don't. Do you think you've worked it out? Shall we have a little look and see which ones started with a zzz and which ones didn't? So the first object that began with that zzz sound was the zip. Zip. And here we are. Zip, zip. Well done if you found that one. Our next word that begins with a zzz is the zebra. Z zebra, zebra. Well done if you found that one. And we have one more object where the word starts with a zzz. And that one is zero, zero, zero. Well done. Now let's have a little look. So, pen. What sound does pen begin with? Did you work it out? It's a p, p for pen. 
And our last word is a cat. 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 Yes, it begins with a k, 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 doesn't it? Well done if you got some of those or all of those right. I wonder what objects you can find at home that might start with a zzz or have a zzz sound in them. Well, I'm going to leave you there for today, Maple. Have fun trying to find some things in your house that begin with those sounds or have those sounds in them. Well done. See you soon. Bye. Did you ever hear a bee buzz, a bee?